Welcome, Lion Camp Cowboy Church friends and family. I have Mr. Donnie Smith with me today. Our devotion comes out of Romans chapter 12, verse 2. It says, And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and what is that acceptable and perfect will of God. Donnie, when you hear this verse of Scripture, what would you say to everybody? Well, it tells me that being a Christian that God has given me everything I need in life to su succeed and live a fruitful life. Um, it gives me a manner in which I can study the Bible and prove that the will of God is good, perfect uh, for everybody's life. So we shouldn't conform to what the world uh, has placed before us, but conform to what the Bible has placed before us. Amen. You know, when I, th when I hear this verse of Scripture, I think about all the time that every once in a while, D years ago, used to have this pillow on our couch, and uh, I would take a nap, and I'm, I would rest my face on that pillow. And if somebody knocked on the door or rang the doorbell, and I got up, and I tried to hide the fact that I'd been taking a nap, I couldn't because the imprint of that was all over the left side of my face. And, you know, I, th I think this is where we have to be careful, careful, Donnie. When the Scripture says, be not conformed to this world, I, I, it, we, we have to be in the world, but we can't be of the world. And we, we have to put our impression on them and not allow the world impression to be on us as Christians. Or therefore, how do they even recognize us as belonging to God? And so, Lion Camp, I want to encourage you. Are you putting God's impression on other people that don't know him? Or people that don't know him, are they putting the world's impression on you? God said, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. How do I renew my mind? Afresh and anew every day with Jesus Christ in prayer. Lion Camp Cowboy Church, you be blessed. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your love and your grace and your mercy. And Father, I do thank you for the, the blessings of life. And Father, I thank you for what you did for us at Calvary. Father, as we live this life, even during this uh, pandemic, Father, I pray that we will be conforming to you and not conforming to man. Father, we ask you to continue to heal this nation, both physically and spiritually. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Line Camp Cowboy Church, you be blessed.